Hey guys, so I recently purchased these body mist sprays from Sol de Janeiro and I thought today could do a little smell test and maybe even rank them in order of my favourite to least favourite. So I have with me the box. So I've got these four here. I've got the Brazilian Crush 71, 62, 39 and 40. So you can see that's a pretty good size. This is 90 mil and I think that's probably a perfect size, good for traveling. They also sell in a larger size but only if I really like fragrance would I probably buy that size. I'm kind of hoping that they have vanilla kind of smell because that's kind of what I was wanting from them. The one that smells the best version of vanilla is probably going to be my favorite. So like for instance this one, the 40, is described as black amber plum and vanilla woods. It's actually got a little description on the back which is kind of cool. It says the top notes, black, amber, plum, creme de cassis, whatever that is, mid jasmine blooms, Brazilian orchid, dry, vanilla woods, warm musk. So yeah, with that said, might as well get into it. So the first one we'll start with is the 40, just open this. So this one is vanilla and fruity. It's definitely fruity and I'm smelling like all of these things, the, the musky, floral. Yeah, there's just something kind of, what does it remind me of? Almost like a cinnamon, some kind of spice. I'm definitely not one of those people that could tell you like 20 different names to describe a scent. Maybe amber and balsamic and woody would be a better way of describing it rather than cinnamon. But like, I just think cinnamon or like warmth, some kind of spice. Yeah, so it is really nice. I don't think it'll be my favorite scent. Maybe a little too fruity. I think it'd have to be and be in the mood to want to wear this one. I'm kind of glad I have four different ones because it'd be kind of nice to like change it up some days, you know. So the next one is the 71. That's caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Fragrance notes, top, caramelized vanilla, sea salt, mid toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, dry tonka bean and coconut blossom. Mm. Actually, no. There's something I didn't like about that. Maybe it's the um, nutty, maybe it's that. I don't mind a nutty fragrance, but there's something about it. It's hard to describe, but there's a certain scent and it's also got this like corresponding flavor to it that I get when I drink coconut water. So maybe it's the coconut and the nutty together. 
like if I have a fresh coconut water, you know, in the green coconuts, I've had them overseas, it was called a Coco Loco, and it had like tequila and gin and vodka and rum, just every white spirit in there, and it was really delicious. Yeah, super fresh coconuts are fine, but whenever I drink a coconut water, like in the Tetra Packs, Long Life, whatever it is, or even the ones that I think you can get in the supermarket, the, the brown ones, like the small ones, even those, like I just, there's some flavor that hits me that I just don't like. Although I'm not smelling it now. It just kind of hit me at first. Because it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like sweet and caramel. Which at first I really get that. It smells really yummy. And then there's this smell that I really don't like. And then I think it, as it kind of dries down, then I don't smell that as much. And then I do smell the chocolate. It actually reminds me of chocolate greedy. Not that they smell similar, but the chocolate greedy is still that vanilla creamy scent. This one does have like a chocolate vibe to it and it's just more caramel. And this one has more of the citrus and fruity notes as well. And this one is more creamy. So they, they don't necessarily smell the same, but I get the same nutty kind of coconut scent that I, I don't really like. So that is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I definitely like this one better than this one, but I like that they smell really different as well because I could see myself wearing one or the other in like certain settings, which is kind of cool. This next one is pistachio and salted caramel and the fragrance notes top pistachio almond mid heliotrope jasmine petals, dry, vanilla, salted caramel, sandalwood. So this one I really like. Yeah, this one is really summery to me. It's vanilla, caramel, it doesn't smell like sunscreen, but it just reminds me of that like beach, you know, the surfboard sex wax, I think it's called. But yeah, it's got this like vanilla in it as well. And it's just, yeah, it's really yummy. It still smells fresh to me in the way that the 71, which is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia, that one doesn't have a fresh scent to it. This one still smells like, you know, you're fresh out of the shower with washed hair and it's got some nice moisturizer, like body moisturizer, like it is really nice. But yeah, I kind of already knew what this one smelled like. But it's still interesting to smell it next to these other ones. The whole room is starting to smell like these things, so it definitely has like a good presence about it. <laughs> I don't know if this helps, but the fourth one we've got here is the coconut cream and toasted praline. The notes for this one are top coconut cream, mid warm vanilla, tropical orchid, and dry creamy sandalwood and toasted praline. This one is giving me that same, it's giving me that same nutty flavor that I was talking about before that I also smelled in the 71. This one is like sweet coconut vanilla. It's definitely coconutty and it also has that tropical I don't know what it is. This is incorrect to say this but it's almost like a mint it's like a fresh smell but not in really a good way maybe that's the praline I don't know it 
it's kind of it's kind of strange. I think I prefer the 71 over 39. This would be the order in which I would put them with this one being number one. That's the 62 and then the 40, then the 71 and the 39 I would put last. These two I don't see myself wearing. I definitely don't see myself wearing this one because if I had to choose, I would just wear the 71. I suppose I can't really make any recommendations because it's completely subjective but I'll stick with my 62. It's creamy, it's vanilla, it's fresh and clean so that's the pistachio and salted caramel and I think I would still wear this one. I wouldn't say 40 is a close second, I'd say it's kind of second by default. It still is pretty nice, it's just not as vanilla -y as I would have hoped. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.